As um, the last speaker of the day, I will take the liberty of looking into the future of transportation, which incidentally was already identified by the first graders we heard about in the first talk of this uh, event, namely teleportation. So what is our image of teleportation? And I think it's something like this. Namely, we have a futuristic looking device. The end, it vaporizes you, converting you to a beam of matter that travels at intergalactic speed to somewhere else where you have a similar device which uh, reconfigures you so that you appear there. However, this notion is totally wrong. This is not how it should be done, and it is not how it is done. Uh, before getting into the technicalities, um, let me first uh, discuss what we like to teleport. When I discuss with people what they would like to teleport, the most common answer is pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually going to make it a little bit more complicated uh, because it's more interesting and discuss teleportation of people, exemplifying it by myself. So why is it a bad idea to send a beam of matter as a means of teleportation? The reason is the following. Suppose that we want to teleport me at the modest tenth of the speed of light. Okay? It means that only to accelerate me, the matter of me, to that speed, will take 10 to the 16 joules. That's a number we cannot imagine. So let's convert it to gasoline instead. It's a billion liters of gasoline. It will take you three super tankers to carry. And it will take cost you more than a billion euros to buy. Bad idea. Okay? So how do we teleport then? Well, true teleportation starts with two heaps of material, raw material. One at the sender site, one at the destination site. This material is quantum entangled. Entanglement is a strange concept, meaning that you have quantum correlations between these two heaps of matter. Individually, each heap doesn't have any identity. It doesn't have any characteristics. It's indeterminate. Okay? We have them, uh, and they have been produced in many labs around the world, including my own. So entanglement is a fact. It's not fiction. So we take one heap, and we take me, and we send us into a machine. The machine makes a peculiar type of measurement. What the machine actually does is three things. First of all, it completely destroys me. It doesn't de destroy my matter, but I, it will not be me anymore. It will be some other indeterminate piece of matter. It also changes mysteriously, but truly, the other heap of matter that was quantum entangled. So it now becomes something else. It doesn't yet become me, but it becomes something correlated to me. The third thing the measurement does, it, it gives you a measurement result that I can represent as a long, long binary number. This binary number I send from the sender to the uh, destination point, where some operator feeds it into another machine, and using this uh, information, he sets all the knobs and dials, and all of a sudden, the machine transports transforms this indeterminate heap of matter into me. And I, da -da, I appear at the other side. This is done at the speed of light, because you can communicate at the speed of light. So why is this much better? Well, uh, sending information is cheap. If you want to send one bit of information, you can easily code it onto 1,000 photons. That costs you 10 to the minus 16 joules of energy, very little. Uh, but how much uh, information do we need to send to teleport me from here to there? Well, uh, the human genome contains about uh, 10 gigabit of information. But the fact is that your genome and my genome is 90% similar. So actually, we need only to send the difference, what actually makes me me. Okay? And that's only about 100 megabit of information. Very little. But that is teleporting the body of me from there to here. 
I also claim to have a personality, memories, thoughts, opinions, and so on. We also want to teleport that. So how, how much energy or how much information does that uh, require? And here, estimates vary widely from somewhere between 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 19 bits of information is stored in our nervous system, okay? Let's take a number in between, 10 to the 14, okay? And let's not only teleport me, let's teleport everyone in Sweden, about 10 million people, okay? That means we have to transport 10 to the 21 bits of information, okay? And, according to the previous slide, that will cost you about 10 to the 5 years, okay? Translated into uh, the pre price of gasoline, that's one euro cent to teleport every Swede to another destination. You see why this is a much better option, okay? Then you can say, but, ah, let's, you took the 10 to the, uh, 10 to the 14. Suppose you need 10 to the 19 bits. Well, for that same euro cent, I can still teleport all of you, 100 people, okay? That's pretty cheap. Now, uh, teleportation raises many concerns. One of them is this. Will my soul also be teleported? And quantum mechanics actually answered that very straightforwardly. It says, yes, an identical copy of you is going to appear if you do everything correctly at the destination spot. Uh, but at the expense of completely destroying you at the sending site. Okay? Um, information, soul, everything is actually physical. As I speak now, your brain is changing. When you go home this afternoon, you will have a different brain than you had when you came here this morning. The neur neurons in your brain are actually reconfiguring right now. But this is also teleported. Don't worry about that. Is my privacy protected? Okay, because we need to send all the information about everything, including what you remember of your income tax return from yesterday. Okay, so can I be sure this is safe? Yes, you can. Because what was actually sent as information was not the information about you, but the information about you relative to the information in this indeterminate heap of material. And therefore, the information is encoded so that it is unintelligible for everyone, the sender, the receiver, anyone eavesdropping in between, only the machine combined with the other heap of material that changed as a function of the measurement, can make any sense of this and actually make you appear. So your privacy is perfectly pr protected. So is this safe? Can things go wrong? And the short answer is yes. If the entanglement is not perfect, if the measurement is not properly done, if the information is corrupted when it's sent, or if the operator on the other side has a bad day, you will not appear as you. You will appear as a different person, or worse yet, as a different state of matter. But it's a sort of reincarnation. It is you in a different shape, right? <laughs> so, uh, when will teleportation become a reality? So you can check the teleportation option when you want to have express delivery. Well, if we look at the present status, what researchers have been able to do is to teleport the state of an ethereum ion one meter. They say, but this is nothing. I can move one meter like this, okay? But then look at it from the perspective of the ion. One meter is about a billion times the size of the ion. Translated to your size, it's about five times the distance to the moon, okay? Uh, photons, the particles of light, are, for technical reasons, easier to teleport. And there, they have been teleported 16 kilometers already. So now we're talking distances. If you can teleport me, I could actually go from my home to work. Okay? Wouldn't be bad. Um, so what to take with you from my presentation is not that teleportation is going to be a soon-to-appear solution of your transportation problems, but it is actually a possibility. It is not impossible, it's just difficult. 
And uh, you never know how fast different technologies are going to appear. For those of you who are in a hurry and are not uh, willing to wait for the su future solutions, then there is one piece of information I would like you to retain from my talk. And that is that if you have, or if you can, in your transportation solution, replace moving matter by moving information instead, then do that. Because information can be moved at the speed of light and dirt cheap. Thank you for your attention.